Prince Harry dons a pair of budgie smugglers, over his jeans, after he was given them as a gift by two Australian Invictus Games competitors. Prince Harry has embraced Australia as much as they have embraced him during his national tour to launch the 2018 Invictus Games. And although he declined to sign a pair of green and gold budgie smugglers, the Duke of Sussex has now tried on a pair, over his jeans. The Royal was gifted the swimwear by Invictus Games competitors Nicole Bradley and Matt Model and Paralympian Dylan Alcott. He has posed for a photograph with the smiling athletes. Earlier today three Aussie soldiers begged Harry to sign the swimwear as it sat on one athlete's head. Standing in front of the group, Harry could be seen laughing, but did not autograph the trunks. Ben Yeomans. Damien Irish and Kendall were all smiles and had nothing but praise for the Duke after meeting him on Sunday at the Invictus Games cycling event. The three Aussie Larrikins said they understood it wouldn't have been a good look in front of the clicking shutters of the world's press. He was totally conscious of that, Mr. Kind laughed. We were hoping that he'd try them on, but oh well next time. To be honest he's so down to earth. One of the boys really. Prince Harry may have declined because he's already been gifted a pair by Paralympian and Triple J presenter Dylan Alcott. The Duke of Sussex was given the swimmers during a private event at Admiralty House, the governor's residence where he and Meghan Markle are residing in Sydney, and promptly put them on over his jeans. Dylan Alcott, a host on ABC's daily roundup of the games, had a private talk with Harry along with Invictus team members Matt Model and co-captain Nicole Bradley. Mr. Alcott who is a triple Paralympic gold medalist in wheelchair tennis and wheelchair basketball, said, We gave him a gift. One of the athletes, Matt, gave him a pair of budgie smugglers. And he put them on, over his jeans. It looks awesome. He said, Shall I put them on? We said, 100%. So he put them on. Good on him. Mr. Alcott, who was talking at a reception hosted by the Prime Minister Scott Morrison at a restaurant in Sydney's Botanical Gardens, added, I just met the Duchess, and he, Harry, said I am the one to blame for the photo. I said, hey, sorry, I think, the budgie smugglers, did wonders for him. It looked good. He should make it official. I reckon the Duchess will love them. But who knows, maybe not. I met the Duchess before, at Wimbledon. I'm the number one wheelchair tennis player in the world. I said, we actually met at Wimbledon. She said I remember meeting you at Wimbledon. I was pretty happy with that. I felt pretty chuffed that she remembered. Alcott said being able to speak in a relaxed and personal setting with the prince about issues facing veterans and other people with disabilities or who have mental illnesses was incredibly moving. To sit on the lawn, and just have a chat with him about some really important issues, like mainstreaming disability, talking PTSD. What he has done is normalized it a lot, so people feel comfortable, he said. As someone who has had a disability my whole life, it really meant a lot to me to be able to say thank you. He is such a good bloke. At the reception the couple met children from Kookaburra Kids, an organization which helps children living in families affected by mental health issues. Lachlan Williams, 10, from Sydney, said, he asked who had parents in the military and we put up our hands to say yes. Afterwards I said to them, my teacher says she loves you. They laughed. 